Hi, my name is Joe Tavares. This is the conclusion video for Amazing Green Technologies. AGT Conclusion All the formulas used are currently accepted electrical engineering formulas. No new theories introduced with the exception that I only introduce an enhancement to the magnetism. That enhancement is that magnetism does not move with the material or with the magnet. While the magnet is moving at the edges of the material, magnetism is created in the leading edge and extinguished on the lagging edge, creating the appearance that it is moving with the magnet. And in the middle of the, of the magnet, in the middle area, it is stationary. This explains why induction still occurs in a shielded conductor or in a slot, or why a rotating disc magnet does not include a voltage on a stationary conductor, or why a magnet and a disc rotating together induction still occurs. The knowledge gained was used to understand the effect of slots on, in, on induction and also the effects of slots on other slots and be able to design the high voltage homopolar generator. A true check on the design of the generator is to, ch is to check if it can operate as a motor. And for the motor is to check if it can operate as a generator. If they cannot, the counter feedback effect cannot occur and it is a true free, free energy device. For the thruster, it was presented that the electromagnetic forces does not act between objects but against the vacuum. In some instances, it may appear as if the forces are acting between the objects. To increase the lifting force, it was shown how the force acting on a wire can be transferred to a force acting on a magnetic core and allowing this force to be amplified. So here's a summary of all the three devices. The green generator, which is a high voltage homopolar generator. The size is 400 millimeter diameter by 300 millimeter long. 16 inches diameter by 12 inches long. Volume is 1.4 cubic foot. The weight is 320 kilograms. The output is electrical energy, 30 kilowatts. The power input consumption is 0.1 kilowatts. Now for the green motor, no back EMF motor, the size is 300 millimeter diameter by 200 millimeter long or 12 inches diameter by 8 inches long. The volume is 0.53 cubic feet. Weight is 120 kilograms. The output is mechanical power but it's equivalent to 20 kilowatts. Power input consumption is 0.5 kilowatts. The green thruster the electromagnetic thruster, the size is 440 millimeter diameter by 130 millimeter high, or 17.6 diameter by 5.2 inches, 5 inches high. The volume is 0 0.73 cubic feet. The weight is 120 kilograms. The output, it lifts 1,000 kilograms against gravity. That was calculated to be equivalent to an uh, output power of 48 kilowatts. Power input consumption is 0.2 kilowatts. Now let's review a system. Power in, say, is 1 kilowatt and there's 2 kilowatt loss, and the power output is 2 kilowatts. So the over unity factor is power out over power in, which is 2 kilowatts over 1 kilowatt is 2. So the over unity is 2. That means this, 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 this device is 200% efficient. P loss equals, let's assume P loss equals 2 kilowatts. So P out, P out over Pn plus P loss is 2 over 3 is 2 thirds. So in this case, if we include the loss in the system, even though we only inputting 1 kilowatt, but is you're losing 2 kilowatts and producing 2 kilowatts, in this case, it comes to less than 1. This should be the factor used to be a truly green device don't want to have a device producing free energy and have half of it in wasted as heat. The true factor should take into account power input as well as the power losses in the system. I call this factor 
the Tavares factor to distinguish it from the overunity over factor, and this factor should be greater than 10. Here's an example. Power N is 0.1 kilowatts, 4 kilowatts loss, power out is 2 kilowatts. The overunity factor would be 2 over 0.1, which is 20, but the Tavares factor is 2 over 4.1 which is less than half, so it's not a green device. It should be greater than 10. So the AGT logo will change it from the over, over unity factor symbol, which is greater than one, this is the logo symbol, to a Tavares factor symbol greater than 10. So this is the new logo for AGT. That is the meaning of, AG, of the AGT logos, greater than one for the over unity, over unity factor and greater than 10 for the Tavares factor. So specs and capability, no fossil fuels. The green generator, high voltage omopolo generator. Again, so we include, it's the same as I said before, now the Tavares factor is calculated to be 300. For the green motor, the Tavares factor is now calculated to be 400. And for the green thruster, the Tavares factor is calculated to be 240. This is only the, the factor, the Tavares factor for the device and not for the system. For the system, it's still expected it should be greater than 100. I just want to discuss one more concept which has nothing to do with the design and build of the AGT devices, but it may be able to ease someone acceptance of the concept of the concept of free energy. This is the law of conservation of energy. The, the concept to be about to be about to be introduced does not contradict the law of conservation of energy, but only the interpretation of, of, it, of it, which it still agrees with the law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy. Energy is not transferred, transformed, or, or converted from one form of energy into another form of energy. Energy is created and consumed. It so happens that in the process Equal amounts of energy is created and equal amounts of energy is consumed, but still obeying the law of the law of conservation of energy. The energy consumed and created does not have to occur at the same time. For example, when a metal piece is attracted towards a permanent magnet, it can do work, e.g., by pushing a lever, or while it's it is moving towards the magnet, then it can sit there for about a year. Then, when the metal piece is extracted from the magnet, energy is expended or consumed in the removal of the metal piece from the magnet. The energy consumed equals the energy created back a year ago. Energy is like money. You can borrow it and you can get it for free for now, but later you are going to pay it back or someone else will pay it back for you. Joe Tavares, 2020. Here is not an example. Transform action. We treat it as an ideal case. A voltage applied on the primary side will cause current to flow. This in turn produces the B field, the black arrow. This B field generates an opposing voltage on the primary coil until no more current flows. This is the point where this opposing voltage equals the supply voltage. The feedback field B, the red, as a result of current being drawn from the secondary coil induces a voltage on the primary coil that it reduces the voltage. This will allow the supply to feed in more current which in turn will cause the B field black to increase the imposing voltage to, to the supply voltage on the primary coil until no more current flows. This is the point where the voltage equals the supply voltage again. So what happens, the red voltage coming back is in the opposite direction, reduces the voltage here. Again, it will allow the supply to, to pump in more current, increasing the V field until again, this voltage becomes equal to the supply voltage. So energy is being consumed or, st or extinguished on the primary side. Energy is being created on the secondary side. Energy is extinguished on the primary side and at the same time, the same amount of energy is created on the secondary side, obeying the law of conservation of energy. But there is no transfer of energy from primary side to the secondary side. For those who are still skeptical and believe in the Big Bang theory, I leave you with, with this thought. The Big Bang is the greatest free energy event 
in the history of the universe. Joe Tavares 2020. Thank you and please share. Feel free to share as long as I'm acknowledged. Joe Tavares 2020.